Chapter 3.2 City Scans If somehow the attenuation coefficient of different positions inside a patient's body is determined, it may be possible to reconstruct the tissue structure of the patient and represent it in the form of a 3D model to be shown on the computer screen. CT stands for Computer Tomography, in which tomography means creating images. CT scans produce cross-section of the human body. It makes use of multiple X-ray scans from different directions to deduce 3D tissue structure by complex calculations. When a 3D model is produced, then different cross section of the patient's body may then be generated. 1. Producing CT images A. Back projection algorithm First, recall that when X-rays pass through different tissues, the attenuation depends on the type as well as the thickness of the tissue. When the X-ray beam is moved across a certain tissue structure in the x-direction, the transmitted intensity varies along this particular direction of movement. The transmitted intensity variation is called a back projection of the attenuation profile, or simply an attenuation profile, as these numbers are inversely proportional to the attenuation experienced by each beam of the X-ray. We may then start to locate the high attenuation tissues such as bone, but at which Y position the bone is located. Then the X-ray beams from a perpendicular direction may form another attenuation profile, from which we can also locate the high attenuation tissues. The two attenuation profiles are combined into an attenuation map of the tissue structure, which is a numerical representation of the tissue structure. Note that a smaller number in the attenuation profile, which is actually the transmitted intensity, corresponds to the tissue of higher attenuation. And in this way, the bone can be located. And as X-rays are very directional, it ensures the sharpness of the back projection profile, and that may give more details of the tissue's structure. As the number of pixels, or in other words, resolution, is very high, the back projection algorithm involves a lot of calculations, and even for the very powerful processor available nowadays, it still takes time for the computer to reconstruct the tissue's structure. B. Cross-sectional images Tomographs The above shows how a tomograph, which is a slice of the body, is created. To create a 3D model, which is what CT scan usually produces, more tomographs should be created and then combined into a 3D model of the tissue's structure. C. The CT scanner. The X-ray beam does not actually move across the body in the X direction nor the Y direction, but rotate around the patient's body so that attenuation profiles from all 360 degrees directions are obtained. Moreover, a fan beam of X-rays with large number of detectors are used. And so the complexity of the back projection algorithm is even more complicated than that illustrated above. Before the radionuclide imaging examination, the nurse will verify the patient's identity, confirm his or her health situation, explain the risks and the process of the examination. The patient must sign a letter of consent before taking the examination. The nurse will insert a needle in a vein on the patient for later injection of radioisotope tracer.
The radioisotope tracer is stored inside a lead canister and will only be taken out when it's in use. As the tracer gives out gamma radiation, the member of staff taking out the tracer has to stand behind a lead protective shield during the process. The tracer is placed in a lead protective box when it's transferred from the storeroom to the patient. This helps reduce radiation exposure. Similarly, lead covered syringes are used for injecting the radioisotopes. After the radioisotope tracer is injected into the patient's body, the patient has to wait for the tracer to accumulate in the target organ. The waiting time varies from 20 minutes to an hour depending on the target organ. This is a gamma camera. It's connected to a computer. A pair of detectors, each located on the top and the bottom, can detect the gamma rays emitted from the patient's body. The computer will then transform the result to images. During the imaging process, the patient is sent through the gamma camera. The detectors rotate around the patient to collect data. The radiographer in another room monitors the patient through the CCTV and controls the gamma camera with the computer. The images on the computer screen show the distribution of the tracer inside the patient's body, that is, the picture of the target organ. The images obtained need to be processed by the radiographer. The processed images are then output as films, color prints, or CD ROMs. The images are passed to the doctor for further analysis and interpretation. A report of the findings and diagnosis is then issued. Example 4. Producing a CT image. Read the solution carefully. Check if you have any misunderstanding of the whole process of back projection algorithm. Do checkpoint 3 below.